all of the time. I'd like to. Is it another one of those mornings? <laughs> Your brother is not helping by being crazy in the next room. Um, I'll tell be quiet. Hey, so it's picture day at school, mm -hmm. right? So it's picture day at school today and we pulled out all your dresses and all your fancy outfits and what do you want to wear? These. The mermaid pants. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? So if she's not wearing a dress for picture day, I guess she has the giggles and she's just going to wear all of her mermaid stuff. She put her mermaid hair bow in there too. So I guess we're ready for picture day. Ready? Boo boo, so funny, you guys. Josh is funny. So I recently installed this new feature in our bathroom. In our sink, it's called automatic talking sink. Does anybody else's cat does this? He like, he turns on the faucet and he talks to me and won't leave. Like he plays in the water all day. Do you have something to say for yourself? He's speechless. Yes, this is the fourth time I've tried to call and reach Dr. Zaradnik. Uh, I want to talk to her about my daughter and scheduling surgery, but she still has yet to call back. Okay, let me pull your daughter up. What's her date of birth? She is 102406, Sasha McHugh. Um, she has. We came to see her this summer and we talked about Botox and she said the last resort is surgery. So I called three times before now and she still hasn't called us back. Time. I have tried to talk to Sasha's physician down in Hartford and where we go for her legs and her orthotics and everything else to schedule surgery. And yet again, they gave me the runaround that she has called, they saw that she has called the physical therapist at school and talked to her, but I'm like, I'm the parent and this is the fourth time I've tried to go. So they gave me the runaround and said, call back again in two more days and she'll be back here and hopefully we can get you to talk to her. I mean, don't you think the physician by now should give you a call back to talk to you about your child's surgery? I'm sorry for the rant, but the medical system and medical appointments are just getting so screwed up. I got you loving every day. I got you loving every day. I got you loving every day. I didn't want to disturb them too much, but I am a huge nature person. So we've seen quite a few bumblebees on our plants this year, which we had just a few last year, but they don't sting. Me and Sasha could sit there and watch them for hours. And then on top of that, sorry, I'm out of breath. I was running around my yard doing stuff. And then on top of that, um, we've actually, I didn't want to disturb them, but we've had a ton of bees back this year, honeybees. And if you know anything about bees or honeybees in general, that a lot of them are dying off and their numbers are really low due to cell towers and um, waves within the air. And a lot of people mow huge fields or just chop down their flowers and that's their food and that's how they get their nutrition. So a lot of people are making them extinct because they keep chopping down land and they keep chopping down all the stuff as well. So. Definitely leave your wildflowers where they are because bees are a very important part of our nature. Now bedtime. Yeah? Cool. You gonna sit up and read or what? Um, yeah. We are gonna finish what? reading Cinderella. Yeah, because I didn't finish at school. Oh my gosh, you didn't? Ah! I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish it tonight because there's so many pages in this book still. Come on. Do you want me to read it to you or do you want to read? Um. Yeah, well, we and have... you skip from the beginning of it. No, no. The bookmark was from here from school. This is where we're supposed to read? Yeah. 
Leave that to me, replied her fairy mother. Now, yeah, I'm baby, baby Gamma. It says this fairy mother. It does not say fairy godmother. It does. Look. Fairy mother. No, it says fairy mother. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Who's right now? Whoa. Don't make me fall. Now hurry to the garden and bring me the largest pumpkin in the patch. How peculiar, thought Cinderella. But she quickly did as she was told. The fairy mother clapped her hands over the pumpkin. I like to love you.